Hey guys, it's Drek, and I don't normally have anything to do with, I think these are air guns or air sport or whatever they're called. This is not my style, but I have a Nerf channel, and it's all about foam projectiles, and so I thought it would be interesting to broaden my horizons and try one of these out just kind of for fun and as an interesting perspective thing. A lot of you guys don't know this, but I used to play pro speedball paintball, so I'm familiar with higher velocity kind of projectile things, and I thought that this was really neat, plus my Walmart had it on sale for the low, low price of 30 American dollars, which for something like this seemed very, very inexpensive. So I went ahead and purchased it. This is the Black Ops Exterminator Revolver, and I believe it's a, a BB gun along the lines of like Red Rider BB guns from A Christmas Story as opposed to airsoft guns, which don't really appeal to me all that much. But this looked like it would be fun for just some casual like plinking style target shooting and I figured that it would be interesting plus at, at 30 bucks it's really hard to have a bad time with any toy so I picked this up it looks like it runs on 12 grams which is fine I still have a whole bunch of those left over from paintballing so I'm not too terribly concerned it's claiming 100 or 410 FPS which is feet per second so that's pretty cool. It's on the back advertising that it is an 8 inch full metal barrel, single and double action, which I believe refers to how you prime something like this, either single being from the back forward and then double meaning that you can prime it back first and then fire it for a shorter trigger pull. Six removable steel BB cartridges and then an adjustable top tactical rail. This looks like Picatinny to me, but I am not 100% sure. And it's a revolver style, which means that how hard could it really be to function? So over here, it looks like this is the release. I don't know too much about this. So forward is open, and that drops this. Uh, in here we have this and then it looks like all the way back is S for safety F is probably functional so functional we have the double action really isn't all that hard but oh man that is very comfortable the blaster is much heavier or I guess this might actually be a gun not a blaster but it's it's much heavier it's very front heavy this is all steel whereas this is the only I guess nylon on it and this pops up and back it looks like it's held in with a rail and so the co2 cartridge I think this is an old Kingman training one I used to do a lot with their cool pistols so this looks very very standard in how it's functioning we'll twist this into place we're going to put the safety on while we engage our air. Okay, and I know it's going to be near impossible to hear on camera, but I just heard it kind of engage. I'm going to dry fire the blaster because dry firing something like this is not dangerous at all, really. It's not going to harm the internals, I don't believe. So I'm going to put it back into functional, prime it, and... It's actually not a whole lot of power, I expected more, but these BBs look like they are very, very small, so hopefully we get some decent performance out of them. I, I did pick up the BBs, the BBs cost almost a third of what the blaster did, as goofy as that is, but that's the cool thing, if you don't regularly check the clearance aisle at like Target and Walmart when you go, you really should, because a lot of the times sport stuff like this gets put on sale because it doesn't sell very well. So I'm going to put the blaster back into safety and then we're going to figure out how this works. These are wild. This is almost worth the blaster itself. So these are little capsules that it looks like are greased in some way that I assume you put the BBs into. So I'm going to set them down here and try to load them. I'll probably only fire a entire cylinder of these since I I think it's going to be very time intensive to load. That looks like six. Oh my gosh. Nerf darts are way, way easier to work with than these. Okay, so there's one. Kind of cool. Very neat. I. I think that this would get tedious, but the semi or implied realism of it is really, really cool. So I think that that's pretty fascinating that 
instead of just loading BBs into it, you have to load them into bullet style housings. And I'm not sure what size bullets these are designed to replicate. I know that they're much larger than 22s. I don't think they're quite 45 diameter. Alright, so all of those have been loaded. I wonder if the cylinder spins. Oh, it does. That's too cool. Alright, so back into place, into functional mode, and I've set up a box down here. It's a Hasbro box, so we're going to see kind of how well we can fire this. Oh man, I think that penetrated both layers. So this might not be a toy. It's interesting that the prime doesn't reset. I know that in paintball guns and actual firearms, the shot would push it back into double action, so, or single action, so that each subsequent shot would be faster. Okay, that is too cool. Let's go check the damage. So, this will be the big difference between metal projectiles and foam projectiles is that they just have much more penetrating power and some of them have even exited on the other side that's just wild but that is my review of the black ops revolver type air sport gun and I thought this was a lot of fun if you can find one on sale hopefully they're on sale universally at Walmart's not just my store I think that this is a cool pickup obviously this one is much much more dangerous than any of the nerf blasters on my channel outside of some of the homemades so if you do decide to pick up one of these make sure to exercise proper gun safety and just kind of have fun with it but as always guys thanks for watching